Your shampoo contains ingredients that are not degradable and have been shown to bind with toxic heavy metals like mercury and lead, making them available for accumulation in aquatic ecosystems. Avoid this one. It contains an antibacterial agent that has been found to accumulate in breast milk and has been detected undegradable in rivers and lakes. Fluoride can cause neurotoxicity in adults and negatively affect your memory. I will think about those products before you put them on your skin. Your makeup contains ingredients which are hormone disruptors used in concealers, eyeliner, face powder and hair products. Parabens, a family of preservatives, are endocrine disruptors and have been detected in breast cancer tissues. Oh, do you really want to put that on your eyes? It contains a carcinogen called formaldehyde using mascara, makeup, nail polish and lotions which causes immune dysfunction. Who cares? It's just going on my skin! Sorry sister, these products don't just stay on your skin. Up to 60% of what you put on gets absorbed straight into your bloodstream. And what doesn't get absorbed, well... It gets washed away into the water supply system. <coughs> the skin in and around your vagina is even more permeable. It's just a pad! There's nothing wrong with it! This one is a little harder to tell. Manufacturers of tampons and sanitary pads are not required to show the ingredients used because they are considered medical devices. However, conventional pads contain the equivalent of about four plastic bags. So what? When you use these conventional feminine hygiene products, your precious lady parts absorb plasticizing chemicals like BPA and BPS, which disrupts embryonic development and are linked to heart diseases and cancer. Then they end up in landfills, where they take up to 1,000 years to break down into smaller pieces, continuing to pollute soil and water. Can I use a tampon? Sure! But that silky smooth finish on your tampons is a result of a toxic ingredient that can deregulate gene expression and may lead to multiple organ damage. Oh, there, there. Not everything is bad. People have just been led astray. There are alternative options. Do your research and read your labels. But I'm only one person. Every bit helps. And it only takes one person to create a change. If I educate myself, will you leave me alone? Of course, because then you won't need me to make you feel guilty. You will just be aware if you're buying or using something good or bad. 